You know, as I thought about us getting together today and tomorrow and the next day, I thought about what is it that really matters to you and I. I was in organic chemistry, it was my college career, when suddenly the lights came on for me. I called my dad to talk to him about how I was going to drop the organic chemistry class. And my dad, well, he talked me into staying. He was paying half of my school, so I had to make the call. And what I didn't tell you is that my dad was a chemist. So, of course, he thought because he was the chemist that I had organic chemistry genes in my blood, right, that I could figure all of that out. So I'm in the class. Now, I'm about four weeks from the exam, and I had a great professor who was offering this really nice deal in terms of your grade. That is that if you scored higher than your average on the exam, that was your grade for the entire semester. Pretty good deal. If you scored lower than your average, he would add the two together and divide by two, and that would be your score. Now, I wasn't really worried about that because going into the exam in organic chemistry, I had a soaring 17 and one half average on a 100 scale. So it was do or die for me, right, in this class. So I'm studying and eating my chemistry book in every class and, you know, day and night, and I'm sleeping with it, hoping it could soak into my head. I didn't quite understand all the models and things that you had to work with. Suddenly the day comes, and there I am in the test. It was four hours long. I spent three hours in about 31 minutes and 15 seconds, somewhere in that range. I walk out the door. I'm completely just oh, exhausted. You know, I'm just bled, if you will. And as I'm headed back to the dorm, my buddy, who went to high school with me, and both of us made A's and B's, and he was now in this particular class, he was like a chemistry god to me because he had a C minus average in organic chemistry. And he runs up to me and he says, hey, Barry, uh, how do you think you did? I said, well, you know, there were only 10 questions, and each one of them led to multiple things, and I, I think I did pretty good. He said, well, uh, what'd you do for number two? And I told him. And he looked up at me with that chemistry god eyes and said, uh, you missed that one. And I'm like, you know, leave me alone. You're not my friend anymore. Three days later, the grades are supposed to be posted. I arrive outside the door. You may have done this. And they're not on the wall. So I, I knock on the door. The professor's inside. I walk in, and I say, Professor, I'd like to check on my grade, you know, for the class. He looks up and says, you're in my class? So this tells you anything about my participation, right? And I said, yes, sir. He said, uh, what's your name? I said, uh, uh, Barry Pruitt. He said, Pruitt? Oh, my God. He said, I've never in my whole life seen such a thing happen. He said, I cannot believe it. And he's flipping through the papers and pulls it out, shoves it up in my face. It was a 96. Yeah! I'm doing my Michael Jackson out of his office, right? At which point I said, oh, Professor, just one moment. I want to check on a buddy of mine. He wanted me to check his grade while I was here. My buddy made a C on the exam. Now I'm running back to the dorm. I am so fired up because he made a C, right? But what I would tell you is I was completely out of college before I got the message. The message was that if I knew the answers to the test, if I knew the questions, that I could study and learn it. Because you see, I got every exam from every fraternity and every sorority that was out there, and I studied them and had to find the answers in the book. Folks, what that means is that I went to school to learn it live. And that's exactly what you're doing here. Don't wait 15 years like I did to figure out what it was. In other words, take the lessons from here with you when you leave. 